I thought I would just pop on for a minute just to go over just a few things that I did. So here's my puff. This is one of my um, updos that I will do when I have that, what, five day hair or six day hair. I usually take my little tie and tie it up into a puff here. So this is like, today is wash day. So to, today is the last day. I will be wearing it up in the puff. So that's why she looks really, really, really frizzy um, today. So let's get into these edges. So of course, you know, I don't really do my edges. Um, I just leave them as they are. I don't bother with them or anything. I may like do like that or put um, whatever cream or leave-in that I um, apply to my hair. I just automatically just, just put some whatever I have left on my hands and just rub my hands, my edges back. I don't usually bother them. So every so often I will go in and do a little of something. Let's see if I don't like. Lighten you up just a tiny bit. I don't know what's going on with my lighting. There it is. Sometimes I will go in and just do a little bit of something. Um, so I like to use the, it's just the pattern, regular gel that you put on your hair. It's not the edge control one. Um, I would like to try that one. Like I said, I don't really do my edges, so I don't buy any expensive, nothing expensive. And um, But with this here, I like to use it because it leaves your edges nice and soft. They're not hard or anything. And um, it doesn't last all day. It's just a quick little, and then maybe within like three, four hours, <laughs> they done gotten kind of bushy or whatever. But other than that, I like to use this. And then... It does say colored safe, so I figure, okay, if I put something along here, I don't have to, my hair, my color is not fading away as, I guess, badly or so, even though I do need to color my hair. It's that time to touch up. But um, I like this. I don't know. Like I said, I don't do much to my edges, enough to just go, and that's it. Now, for this Kiss Edge Gel here, Maximum Hold. This one right here will hold your edges nicely, very nicely. Um, every so often I will use this one because like I said, it does hold it. If I'm going somewhere really, really special and I want to like do a little slick back or something, I will throw some of this here on. This one here is in the um, flake, the scent um, Wallamelon. It smells good smells good very good and I feel that the application applies nicely it's nice like a gel just like a gel just like a gel so it's not um like I see you only really need a little bit it spreads nicely to me um or so don't let it get hard make sure you keep your top on it um so my it stays nice and um soft so it can stay nice and pliable or so but yeah, it does um, last much longer than the Pattern Beauty. So this one right here I got from Walmart. I think it was two, like $3 or so, $3. So, And it came in different scents. But I like the watermelon one. <laughs> it smells good. But yeah, guys, that is it when it comes to my, my edges. Don't do very much to them. Very much. So... Let's go ahead and get into the lashes. What do you think? Tell me what you think down in the comment area. I think the mascara was okay. It lasted me all day. It didn't come off. It didn't fade away or anything. The lashes didn't look too <laughs> like little sticks. So I have my mirror here. They didn't look too bad. So, but other than that, as long as I took my other, my little spoolie, usually when I um, put my mascara on, if it's too much mascara on my lashes, I'll take a, a clean spoolie and just remove some of the um, 
mascara to help, I guess, um, just blend it out some um, so it won't be stuck in one big clump, stuck in um, one section. So I'll take a clean spoolie and just kind of spread it out a little bit. But I have some on again today, and I don't think it looked too bad. So we're going to keep using it. It's only been, what, like about four days I've been using it. So right now I do like it. And for the um, the lipstick, um, Sephora lipstick that I got here, I like this one here. It's nice and creamy. My lips didn't feel dry or anything. They felt nice and soft. And um, they had different um, colors. So you guys check out some of the colors in the Sephora um, lipsticks here. This is not sponsored, just to let you know. But I just thought they were... Um, yeah, it was really, really nice and creamy. So, do like this lipstick here. And I didn't really need the lip gloss, but um, I did put some on just a tiny bit. I didn't put too much on because I'm actually getting ready to uh, go downstairs and eat some breakfast. <laughs> so, here. Yeah. So, just, just a little bit of lip gloss if you wanted a little bit more. Just glossy or so but yeah but that is it for all of my little fun little things that I did um <laughs> guys I just wanted to uh, pop back on and talk about my edges a little bit uh, first let me say I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas and holiday and hope everyone stayed nice and safe yeah anyway so for my edges here I picked up another edge control gel and I picked up the Pattern Beauty edge control. I said, I want to try this edge control. Um, no reason I wanted to try it was because um, it did say it was colored safe. So I figured that um, by me using a colored safe edge control gel um, it will help keep my edges nice and tame nice and laid down especially when those gray hairs stick out because sometimes the gray hairs they can get out of control I know it's time to color my edges or touch up my edges I haven't done that yet but yeah these gray edges can get out of control sometimes and even though I like to wear my um my hair or my edges you know just bushy or whatever it doesn't bother me but sometimes it's like okay I want to have that sleek like clean look or look put together or so so I said let me go ahead and try this gel edge control gel to see how it works so um, it is a parmade gel here it comes with the lid and gotta get the top off here it is you see it looks like a parmaid gel you see I used a little bit right there and with this gel edge gel here it is a more what do you call it like a thicker kind of edge control it doesn't glide on as as smoothly as um, my um like my edge control right here this one glides on perfectly this one right here is just a little extra, like I'm doing this, it's like a little extra um, pull you have to um, apply when you um, apply it with your, your brush or your hands. And when applying this edge control gel, um, like for my hair, I had to make, my brush had to be damp or wet to go in, pretty much like damp. And then I went in and then I, it kind of smoothed. Uh, smoothed it easily but it still had like a little like tug to it but um it's fine it is a firm hole so it is holding it is holding it is like it's not a crunchy hole it's not a um like a super duper hard hole but it is a firm hole because you see that's still sitting up like up in the air like and kind of don't you know pull back it's already been about five or six hours 
since I have done my edges with this um with this um gel here and I think it's looking good I think it's looking good they're still nice and laid look nice and put together yeah yeah I was I just wanted to try this gel here just had to try it to see how um, how it is I wanted to do something different and I was like okay let's see if we can like tame the edges <laughs> a little bit sometimes since um yeah especially since I have this gray hair and it can get out of control um, but overall I'm gonna say I'm gonna keep playing with this to see if I like it if I don't like it or so um, I'll return it. I, I don't do my edges that often and um, I'm not going to say okay with me having this I'm going to do my edges all the time. Pro I probably won't. I probably won't but there are days I want to look more put together and I think this one right here might be um, the case. I, this, this does have well six hours. I think this might have a little bit more holes than this one maybe because I don't put that much of this one I don't know but um but we'll see we'll see I just wanted to try this and this is a four ounce jar it's pretty big nice big jar here but yeah guys look at these edges I am shocked that they're still holding on and I just put it just like along in here and I Kind of pushed it back kind of like high my ear like and then I did bring it all the way around I didn't put too much over here but mainly more at the top because I had the the part there yeah and this is a five day old my five day old wash and go from my um my holiday Christmas dinner it is Still hanging on, still hanging on. It's the one that I use my my mousse here with. So yeah, still hanging on. She's nice and soft, nice and bouncy. She do need some moisture. Um, she is a little frizzy. That frizz going on. But look at the curl definition. It's still hanging in there. Curls are still hanging in there, and the shine did hold on too quite a bit because I haven't really added any oil so yeah yeah got these edges together and everything so I'm gonna stretch it out two more days and just see how it does and I'm just going to pretty much put my scarf on tonight and tie it down I'm not gonna reapply I'm not gonna reapply because she already feeling pretty firm here so yeah so that is all I'm going to do. But yes, I just had to pick her up and just thought I would pop back in and let you guys know how everything was turning out and what I did. Anyway, guys. Okay, guys, here is day two of my edges being laid down. They're actually looking good. No flaking or caking or anything. They feel nice and soft with a hole. Nice and soft with a hole. Yeah, still in place. I did not reapply any gel. 